Let's balance the equation for CH4 plus S gives us H2S plus CS2. This is methane here. We have sulfur, then we have hydrogen sulfide and carbon disulfide. To balance the equation, let's count the atoms up. We have one carbon here, four hydrogens, and then the one sulfur. Product side, we have the one carbon, then hydrogens, we have two of those. And then for sulfur, be careful, we have one here and two here. So one plus two, three total sulfur atoms. It looks like, why don't we put a two here first for the H2S, that's gonna balance the hydrogen because two times two, that'll give us four hydrogens. And then one times two, let's update the sulfurs here. So the two, it goes to everything here. So we have the two times two, that gives us the four hydrogens, one times two, that gives us two sulfurs plus these two sulfurs here. So now we have four sulfurs. We're almost there. We just need to get four sulfurs on this side. This equation's balanced. And since sulfur's by itself, when we put a four here, one times the four, that'll give us four of those. It doesn't change anything else. We're done. This equation is balanced. We wanted to write the states. Methane would be a gas, the sulfur, that would be solid. Probably the H2S, that would be a gas, the hydrogen sulfide. And then CS2, this is gonna be exothermic. So initially, this will be a gas. If you let it cool down, it would be a liquid. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for CH4 plus S yields H2S plus CS2. Thanks for watching.